Hi everyone, this is Dan and this is Blueberry 2, uh, Ballad for a Coffin by uh, Jean-Michel uh, Charrier, Charrier, yeah, I still, I don't, I'm still not sure how I pronounce his name, uh, and, and Jean Girard, uh, uh, otherwise known as Mobius, or famously known as Mobius, and uh, it took me a while to find this. So these were printed by uh, Epic Comics, I don't know if you can see right there, yeah, Epic Comics, uh, a while back ago, which was a imprint of Marvel Comics, uh, and these are, are pretty hard to find because this is the only known uh, English uh, translation printing of Blueberry. Uh, this is a, uh, I don't know if you've watched the uh, first Blueberry uh, video that I did, uh, but this is a French comic. Uh, this is a uh, bande dessinée. I'm uh, not sure if I pronounced that correctly either, but uh, essentially it translates to drawn strips or drawn comics uh, in French. And uh, very fascinating. Uh, these are uh, French comics are are typically printed uh, bound in these uh, large formats. Uh, let me get let me grab an American comic real quick here. Here I got here I got X Men. Uh, so this is uh, X Men two uh, twenty nine. And as you can see, the uh, French comic is a lot bigger. Uh, the, the other uh, thing about this is they're a lot larger. They're essentially uh, about the size of a trade paperback, like page-wise, or a uh, graphic novel, essentially. And uh, this is kind of the format that, uh, at least to my understanding, is the most popular in Europe, uh, particularly France and Belgium. Uh, France and Belgium make a lot of these. And they're almost their own world uh, in and of itself. There's a there's a lot of uh, shops that uh, that sell these, and they're so far, my understanding is they're pretty successful and popular over there. Uh, not like our comic book shops, which are currently uh, going under <laughs> here in America. Uh, Blueberry's a very interesting series. It's a western in the American West, but it's written by two Frenchmen, which is very fascinating. Gives you a very spaghetti western vibe. And uh, the main reason, uh, it, it is a very good story, and it's also very well researched by Jean-Michel, the writer, uh, Mobius being the artist. Uh, but honestly, probably the biggest reason to pick this up is Mobius's art, and this is, I think, his early career art, but it's really good. Uh, so I've talked about it before. We, last time we left off uh, our hero here, Mike Blueberry, who is the uh, Lieutenant Mike Blueberry, who is the hero or protagonist of the story, uh, he was kind of uh, left in a gulch uh, with no weapons and no, no horses while uh, some Confederate bad guys uh, had taken his lead to go find some treasure, and they're all being chased by the, uh, by the, or by the uh, Mexican Federales, uh, in particular this guy here, Governor uh, Lopez, and uh, Vigo, uh, Comandante Vigo, a, uh, an operative of uh, the president of Mexico. Here's the two Confederate bad guys, Finlay and Kimball. Uh, I like the faces that uh, Mobius draws. They're really fascinating. Mobius really uh, puts a lot of emphasis on like the mouth and the nose. You notice that uh, he doesn't really draw very large eyes, but it's it's fascinating in a way that uh, that that yeah, a lot of his eyes are very thin, right, or or narrow. Uh, it still creates like these these unique faces. It's not necessarily. It doesn't feel like Disney-like, but there's like little essences of, I guess, Disney's art style. Uh, at least that's my feeling when I when I kind of read through Mobius' stuff. Anyway, this book is super long, so I'm not going to go through all the details like I did with uh, with previous books. But I did want to kind of show off some of the art that goes on in here. Just like, look at this, man. Like, man, Mobius, like, he knows how to draw. Oh, dude. <laughs> I love the shading in this panel. This is really nice. So essentially the plot is uh, kind of interesting. It goes all over the place and there's all kinds of betrayals and backstabbing. It's really, really great uh, Western intrigue. Definitely gives you uh, a feeling of spaghetti Westerns. That's one thing I kind of noticed about the Europeans. Uh, they really, uh, Italians and the, and the French and the Belgium, they really like, for some reason, the American West. I'm not sure why. Uh, but they love to put a sense of realism and and I guess more uh a more darker west is what i've noticed from the uh european comics and just media in general when they do uh american westerns and this is no exception uh 
Mike Blueberry is uh, kind of does some questionable stuff in his quest to return some gold to the U.S. government. In addition, the other characters such as uh, such as Pearl, who is the uh, the female character here, uh, she's also very very much, uh, despite being a femme fatale, very much uh, not a likable character in many instances in this in the show. Neither are Blueberry's. Uh, uh, compatriots uh, Mac and and Red, they often have their own human flaws as well, such as and such as the Confederates, and it's a it's a great sort of uh, chase uh, action sort of uh, uh, plot line. A lot of chasing, a lot of other stuff. You get you get introduced to this uh, medicine doctor who's selling snake oil and gets in trouble with the locals. <laughs> and oh man, look at the the coloring and the shading in here. I love this. It's so freaking good. Yeah. I like I like the uh, the way Mobius draws his women. There's like I don't know what to say. It's it's so simple yet because you can take a look right here. There's not intense ink work right here. Like he draws it and he gets his inks in. There's some blacks here, a couple brush strokes, and that's pretty much it. There's not heavy detail. Like you can see, he's not putting detail into the cheeks or anything. It it makes uh, the characters look clean and soft. I guess is the right way to explain it. Uh, anyhow, I'll, I'll get to sort of the, the gist of it. Uh, things don't end well for anybody, <laughs> essentially, in this story. I don't really want to ruin the plot because uh, these are kind of rare, uh, these books. I will say this does uh, have two books. One is The, uh, the Outlaw, uh, which is sort of a what happens to Blueberry after the, uh, the plot in Ballad for a Coffin. But what I will say is uh, things don't end well for basically anyone in the story, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. Uh, it's uh, definitely not a happy ending for anybody, uh, but it's a great plot and a great story, and it's a lot of fun to read through. I burned through uh, Ballad for a Coffin about like an hour and a half or so. Uh, you really have to take your time when you're going through these uh, these BDs because uh, uh, there's so much art and so much detail and a lot of writing, too. Uh, very interesting right here. The French do not subscribe to the uh, decompression rule. Even though there there is a lot of room for Mobius to kind of spread out here, uh, a lot happens in every other every two page. So I uh, kind of like that because uh, stuff moves along and it's exciting when you're reading through this thing. Uh, anyhow, uh, I know I'm, I'm not going into as much detail as I normally do. I'm trying to kind of not ruin plots as much as I am when I'm doing these videos. Uh, Cause some of these, like this example, it's it's not easy to get a hold of. Uh, so if you do find these, you know, uh, yeah, definitely pick them up. They're totally worth it. Also, I mean, the enjoyment of Blueberry is uh, not is not just the art, but also the, the story too by Jean-Michel. I think it's really, really good. Uh, so anyhow, uh, how did I do? Let's see. Not bad. Let me go to the original page where this is at. Uh, I should explain this, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'll explain this. Uh, what are we looking at right here? So what happened is, uh, some spoilers right here. Uh, the, the, uh, the source that Blueberry uses to find the gold, Trevor, uh, gets murdered. And when they find his body, him and the gang, uh, they bury him. And uh, this check, Pearl, actually married Trevor in order to get information of find, finding the treasure. And while they're burying him and saying their pieces, piece right here, she's kind of talking smack about how he was an idiot. And Blueberry kind of gets pissed off and just proceeds to bitch slap her. <laughs> Never say Blueberry is a very good, uh, very good man. But uh, yeah, that's why I decided to draw. The scene kind of affected me because it, it not only kind of drove home the point that Blueberry isn't your typical cowboy... Uh, but it also uh, it also was shocking in a sense that, uh, as I've said many times, modern comics do not allow you to do this anymore. You are not allowed to do anything mean, period, to women in a modern comic, other than worship them and tell them that they're smarter and better than everybody. But here you have, you know, two Frenchmen uh, back in the day, certainly not what you would console, call, like, ultra-conservative types, and... Uh, yeah, they have no problem, you know, showing a woman being told what to do. <laughs> kind of like it. Uh, as far as the art itself, let me show you. So, uh, one thing I changed, and you might not be able to see it, there's a vanishing point right here. Actually, I'll just show it. The original art is a little more flatlined. 
and I decided to put a small perspective grid going out and that's why you kind of see so if you take a look at the horizon lines at an angle and I do this in order to make sure that the knees right here all line up and uh, it so I've drawn Mobius one more time. I, my my actual avatar on uh, YouTube and uh, BitChute is actually a drawing that I did uh, from the first Blueberry uh, BD. But what is uh, fascinating right here, every time I do Mobius, is I realize little by little how simple his style is. Uh, it's kind of a, a great contrast to Brian Boland, and I don't mean that as an insult. He just does not really believe in overly tight or intricate cross-hatching or feathering. In fact, his feathering is very, very loose and kind of like, I, I was trying to imitate it and it's essentially like, it looks like he gets a brush and just kind of just, you know, smears a smudge here and here and moves on. It's very uh, open form is what I guess is the right way to say. And so when I take a look at the art right here, you'll, you'll notice like the feathering is not very consistent. And that's how he does it. And it's the same thing when he does uh, stuff. I think the crosses, I don't like how he drew them. That, that is screwed up. But the, I did so because I changed the perspective and the drawing from what he originally did. That did change the shading and it did change the, the viewpoints of a lot of these characters. So I did have to have to redesign that when I did this drawing. Uh, but it, it's always a like... There's a part of me that wants to almost adopt Mobius' style <laughs> just because I love how loose it is. But then there's also a part of me that's just sort of like, I don't know, maybe in love with the American the American technique. So I'm almost like, but I love my detail and cross-hatching. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, that's it. Uh, not bad uh, for the most part, the, uh, the drawing and the, uh, and the uh, graphic novel as well. Uh, that's the review. Uh, let me know what you think. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. If you got any comment about uh, Blueberry 2, Ballad for a Coffin, or uh, anything else by uh, Mobius or any uh, French uh, bande dessinée, uh, leave it down below. Or a comment about this art, leave that down below. And I will see you next time.